Natural colored diamonds, blue, brown, yellow, orange, and pink, aren't just stunning to look at. They are also incredibly rare, and often shockingly expensive. But what makes these diamonds so special? And how do they get their breathtaking colors? All diamonds start out the same, pure carbon, crystallized under extreme pressure and heat deep within the earth. But the tiniest trace elements or structural changes can transform a colorless diamond into something extraordinary. Blue diamonds, their color comes from trace amounts of boron, an element so rare that only a few mines in the world, like the legendary Cullinan mine in South Africa, have ever produced blue diamonds. And when you factor in size, clarity, and saturation, it's no surprise that the most expensive diamond ever sold at auction was blue. Yellow and brown diamonds are among the most common fancy colored diamonds found in nature, but don't let that fool you, some of them are truly spectacular. Their colors come from nitrogen, the most common impurity found in diamonds. When nitrogen atoms are trapped inside the crystal structure during formation, they absorb blue light, which causes the diamond to reflect shades of yellow or brown. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Light yellow diamonds might appear faint, almost like a tinted white diamond. But as the nitrogen concentration increases, and the atomic structure becomes more distorted, that soft yellow intensifies, giving rise to the coveted canary yellow or vivid yellow diamonds. These are extremely valuable, especially when the color is evenly distributed and not enhanced by treatment. Brown diamonds, on the other hand, don't just rely on nitrogen. Their warm, earthy tones are believed to come from a mix of crystal distortion and subtle trace elements, though the exact cause is still being studied. Over the years, these diamonds have gained popularity under marketing names like champagne, cognac, and chocolate diamonds. When well cut, they can sparkle with fiery bronze and copper tones that make them stand out in designer jewelry. While they are more abundant than blues and pinks, finding a brown or yellow diamond with perfect clarity, a vivid natural hue, an excellent cut. That's still incredibly rare. And rarity, combined with rising demand, is what pushes their price up, especially for untreated, naturally colored stones. Orange diamonds are even rarer. They also involve nitrogen, but the crystal structure must be just right to create that fiery orange glow. A pure orange diamond with no secondary hue is exceptionally rare, and that makes it exceptionally pricey. Now, let's talk about one of the most mysterious and mesmerizing gemstones on Earth, the pink diamond. Unlike yellow or blue diamonds, pink diamonds don't get their color from trace elements like nitrogen or boron. In fact, scientists still don't fully agree on what gives these diamonds their rosy glow. The leading theory? Intense geological pressure. When a diamond is pushed to the absolute limits, deep underground over millions of years, its atomic structure can become distorted. These distortions cause light to scatter in a unique way, producing shades of soft blush to deep magenta. It's called plastic deformation, and it's believed to happen after the diamond has already formed. In other words, a pink diamond is a survivor, reshaped by unimaginable forces after its birth. Color intensity varies widely, from faint baby pink to rich, saturated hues. The rarer and deeper the color, the more astronomical the value. And when a pink diamond shows a secondary hue, like purplish pink or orangey pink, it can be even more prized, depending on market demand. For decades, the Argyle mine in Western Australia was the world's primary source of natural pink diamonds, producing over 90% of the global supply. But even there, less than 0.1% of the diamonds mined were pink, and only a tiny fraction had gem quality color. Since the Argyle mine closed in 2020, the rarity of these diamonds has skyrocketed. Prices have surged, and demand continues to grow among collectors, investors, and luxury designers. A pink diamond isn't just rare, it's a geological phenomenon, born of pressure, time, and sheer chance. And that's why it's not just beautiful, it's priceless. When you look at a luxury ring set with colored diamonds, whether it's blue, pink, yellow, orange, or brown, you're not just seeing a beautiful piece of jewelry. You're looking at millions of years of Earth's history, pressure, chemistry, and chance, all captured in a single, breathtaking stone. Each colored diamond is unique, not just in appearance, but in its origin story. Few gems on Earth carry a reputation as legendary, or as chilling, as the Hope Diamond. It's a deep, 
steel blue diamond weighing 45.52 carats, and it's more than just rare, it's infamous. The Hope Diamond's journey begins in the 17th century, deep in the Golconda mines of India, one of the most famous diamond-producing regions in history. A massive blue diamond was discovered and eventually sold to French gem merchant Jean-Baptiste Tavigny, who brought it to Europe. There, it was cut and reshaped into the French blue, eventually worn by King Louis XIV. But when the French Revolution struck, the diamond vanished during the looting of the royal treasury. It resurfaced years later in England under a new name, the Hope Diamond, named after London banking heir Henry Philip Hope, one of its new owners. But what makes the Hope Diamond so unforgettable isn't just its rare boron-induced blue hue or its incredible size, it's the curse that seems to follow it. From bankrupt kings to unfortunate heiresses and jewelers who met mysterious ends, the list of supposed victims is long. The Hope Diamond gained a reputation as a harbinger of doom. Even those who didn't believe in curses couldn't deny its eerie legacy. Today, the Hope Diamond rests safely in the Smithsonian National Museum of Natural History, dazzling visitors from around the world under display lights that reveal its ethereal, violet-blue glow. No longer lost, no longer feared, it's now one of the most visited museum pieces on Earth. But behind its beauty lies a story woven with mystery, royalty, revolution, and fate. Because the Hope Diamond isn't just a blue diamond, it's a legend, forged in the earth, and sharpened by history. In the world of colored diamonds, few are as iconic, or as instantly recognizable, as the Tiffany Yellow Diamond. Discovered in 1877 in the Kimberley Mines of South Africa, this extraordinary stone was unearthed during the early days of diamond rushes, when the world was just beginning to realize the riches buried beneath the African continent. The original rough stone weighed an astonishing 287.42 carats. Most would have rushed to cut it down into multiple gems to maximize profit. But Charles Louis Tiffany, founder of Tiffany & Company, had a different vision. He purchased the diamond for $18,000, a fortune at the time, and sent it to Paris, where master gemologist George Frederick Kuhn spent an entire year studying and cutting it. The result? A breathtaking 128.54 carat cushion cut diamond with 82 facets, 24 more than a standard brilliant cut, designed to capture light in a way no other diamond could. Its color, classified as fancy intense yellow, is caused by nitrogen trapped in the crystal lattice during formation. These nitrogen atoms absorb blue light, allowing rich golden tones to shine through. The result is a warm, almost glowing diamond that seems to radiate from within. Only four women in history have ever worn the Tiffany Yellow Diamond. Most famously, Audrey Hepburn, who wore it in a diamond necklace for the promotional photos of breakfast at Tiffany's, helping cement both the film and the diamond in pop culture forever. It re-emerged decades later around the neck of Lady Gaga at the 2019 Academy Awards, and in 2021, Beyoncé became the first black woman to wear it, joining an elite, glittering legacy. The Tiffany Yellow Diamond has never been sold. It's considered priceless, a symbol of timeless elegance, and a reminder of Tiffany's legacy as one of the world's most prestigious jewelers. More than a gem, more than a treasure, the Tiffany Yellow is a masterpiece of nature, craftsmanship, and history. At first glance, it looked like a chunk of crystal with a faint fire trapped inside, a rough stone dug from the remote soils of Africa. But hidden within was something extraordinary, a natural orange-yellow diamond, one of the rarest color blends on Earth. These colors don't happen by accident. The orange comes from nitrogen, the same element responsible for yellow diamonds, but arranged in such a precise way that it begins to reflect vibrant reddish-orange hues, layered over the golden base. The result? A gem that seems to glow like a flame, flickering between sunshine and sunset depending on how the light hits it. Cutting a diamond like this takes more than skill, it takes courage. One wrong angle and you lose the color, the brilliance, or worse, the stone itself. But with patience and precision, this once rough crystal transformed into a stunning radiant cut, its every facet maximizing color and sparkle. The finished gem was set into a one-of-a-kind diamond ring, designed not to outshine the center stone, but to elevate it. Surrounding white diamonds frame the orange-yellow diamond like a spotlight on a stage. What makes this diamond so rare isn't just its natural dual tone hue, or its impeccable clarity. It's that nature created it without intervention. No heat. 
no treatment. Just time, pressure, and a perfect atomic arrangement, a freak occurrence that turned carbon into a masterpiece. When this diamond finally went to auction, collectors knew exactly what they were looking at. Not just a jewel, but a geological miracle. The hammer fell, and the ring sold for millions, its rarity assured and its legend just beginning. From a dusty mine to the glow of a private collection, this orange-yellow diamond ring is proof that even fire can be captured in stone, if nature wills it. It rests beneath museum-grade glass, under precision lighting, but even without the spotlight, this diamond would still take your breath away. Meet the Pink Star, a radiant pink diamond that rewrote the history of gemstones. Weighing a staggering 59.6 carats, the Pink Star is the largest internally flawless fancy vivid pink diamond ever graded by the Gemological Institute of America. Let that sink in, flawless, vivid, and pink, each of those words on its own denotes extreme rarity. Together, they are almost unimaginable. The journey began in 1999, when De Beers unearthed a 132.5 carat rough diamond from a South African mine. Even in its raw form, gemologists knew it was something extraordinary. It took nearly two years of cutting, shaping, and polishing, guided by some of the most skilled artisans in the world, to reveal its final form. Cut into a magnificent oval mixed cut, the Pink Star isn't just a marvel of geology, it's a masterpiece of human craftsmanship. Every facet was calculated to maximize the saturation, symmetry, and fire of this rare pink hue. In 2017, the Pink Star went under the hammer at Sotheby's Hong Kong. After a tense bidding war, the final gavel came down at a world record price of $71.2 million, the highest ever paid for any diamond or jewel at auction. Renamed the CTF Pink Star in honor of the new owner's late father, it now symbolizes both unmatched rarity and generational legacy. What gives a pink diamond its color? Scientists believe it's not trace elements like with other colors, but instead intense pressure and distortion in the atomic structure, caused deep within the Earth's mantle over billions of years. That stress became beauty. The pink star is more than a record-breaking gem. It's a rare gift of nature, a triumph of precision, and a symbol of how the most exquisite things in the world are often born from pressure, time, and transformation. It begins with a shape only nature could design, an octahedron of green fire, pulled from the earth after millions of years in silence. This isn't a treated gem. Its color was earned the hard way, through exposure to natural radiation deep underground, where atomic disruption left behind a soft, rare green glow. Untouched. Untamed. And then, transformation. A master cutter revealed its true brilliance, shaping it into a cushion-cut diamond with radiant depth. But it doesn't stand alone. On either side, two rare natural pink diamonds, a perfect contrast to the green heart. Surrounding them, a halo of colorless diamonds, all set in shimmering white gold, like stars circling a planet. This ring is more than a masterpiece of design, it's a harmony of nature's rarest colors, green, pink, and white. A miracle of time, geology, and artistry. A green diamond like this isn't just rare. It's singular. They were once overlooked, even dismissed. But today, brown diamonds are turning heads, and redefining what luxury really looks like. Buried beneath layers of ancient volcanic rock, in the heart of some of the world's most remote diamond fields, lie brown diamonds, gems forged over billions of years, now rising into the light for the very first time. They don't glitter yet. Their beauty is still hidden beneath a rugged, unpolished surface. But within each rough crystal lies the story of unimaginable pressure, heat, and time. Unlike most colored diamonds, the hue of a brown diamond doesn't come from trace elements like nitrogen or boron. Instead, it's caused by structural distortions, subtle twists in the diamond's carbon lattice. These atomic misalignments bend the light passing through, creating shades that range from soft champagne to deep, rich chocolate. Miners may uncover thousands of diamonds, but only a few brown stones show the kind of clarity, color depth, and size that make them suitable for fine jewelry. And while they are more commonly found than rare pinks or blues, the journey from this rough, earthy form to a sparkling gemstone on a ring or pendant is nothing short of a transformation. From mine to market, every brown diamond begins right here, in the soil, the dust, the raw, untouched depths of the earth. 
It's a quiet beginning, for something extraordinary. Laid out like a painter's palette, these polished brown diamonds reveal just how diverse, and captivating, this color can be. From the soft sparkle of champagne tones, to the golden warmth of honey browns, to the bold intensity of deep chocolate, each diamond reflects a different balance of light, structure, and mineral history. These aren't simple shades, they are moods. Each hue tells a story written deep within the Earth's mantle. A story shaped by heat, pressure, and billions of years of formation. Gemologists classify these diamonds based on tone and saturation, with terms like fancy light brown, cognac, coffee, and even mocha. The names may be poetic, but the value comes down to how well each stone captures and reflects light while holding its color. Cutting is everything. A well-cut brown diamond can radiate just as much fire and brilliance as a colorless one, often with even more character. The right angles unlock the warm glow within, enhancing both depth and personality. Designers today are embracing this full spectrum, pairing brown diamonds with rose gold, white diamonds, or even black accents to create bold, luxurious statements. What once sat unnoticed is now a rising star in colored diamonds. From pale amber to deep espresso, these gems prove that beauty isn't always bright white, it can be rich, warm, and grounded in nature's earthiest tones. Today, brown diamonds are loved for their warmth, earthy elegance, and their affordability. You'll find them in fashion-forward engagement rings, red carpet pieces, and even bespoke collector's items. And while they are more abundant than blues or pinks, truly beautiful brown diamonds, with deep color, clarity, and brilliance, are still rare. So next time you see a brown diamond, look closer. It's not just a stone, it's a natural work of art, formed under pressure, colored by Earth's forces, and now, finally, getting the recognition it deserves. The tiniest differences in atomic structure, the rarest trace elements, or even the slightest distortion deep within the Earth can lead to a one-of-a-kind hue. That's why no two colored diamonds are exactly alike. And that's why collectors, investors, and gem lovers are willing to pay a premium, sometimes millions, for a diamond that speaks to rarity, individuality, and natural beauty. For many, these diamonds represent more than luxury. They symbolize legacy, passion, power, and for some, they are wearable art, crafted by nature and perfected by human hands. When a colored diamond is placed into a ring like this, it's not just an accessory. It's a moment frozen in time, a whisper from the earth itself, telling a story of rarity, resilience, and unimaginable beauty. Subscribe for more videos like this.